Hey, Fetch. What's good? You don't mind if I lube up. I know you don't mind. Come on now, Fetch. <laughs> if you clicked on that thumbnail, you know where you reached and that eyebrow don't look right. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame. I am. Oh, Marvelous One, Marvelous Madame in the Flesh. Welcome back. Oh. To the Marvelous Show. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. <laughs> welcome, welcome back to the Marvelous Show, guys. That's my subby. Hey, Mauricio. Sagittarius, this is going to be your November 2018. How does Bay feel about you for a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Ow, okay. Tapping into your energy. Ugh, what is in my ear? It's not even wax. It feels weird. Oh, sorry. That's gross. Anyway, tap it into your energy, Sagittarius, before I get into anything and start talking and greeting and, and carrying on the way that I do. I feel like you guys are holding a burden, holding a heavy burden. It's time for you to let them burdens down. Now, I don't know. Oh, hold on. I don't know what exactly brought this burden about or your partner feels this way because this was your partner's deck. You're feeling like the queen of pentacles upside down. So you ha you're having some money issues. You're feeling like maybe you're not being as financially abundant as you can right now, Sedge. Um, your partner is definitely dealing with some type of burden, and it could have something to do with something financial. I'm showing that maybe they're holding on to something in the past, and as a result, they're holding back. Um, <clears throat> that's what I got in your partner's energy and yours. Um, you may be feeling like you just don't know how to help, you know? In the Romance Angel Oracle card, I got nothing. Nothing really came out. It was a smooth shuffle. I didn't have any red flags, stuff falling all over the floor like it did for Scorpio. Um, so in that respect, you guys are pretty straight, all right? But let's go ahead and get started. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my content. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to The Marvelous Bunch, The Marvelous Tribe of People, that call themselves my subscribers. And welcome home, baby. You back home. And it's okay if you subscribe to multiple people. We don't care around here. You can go and watch multiple messages and put them all together in your big melting pot as long as you come back home, baby. You know I don't care. Hey. On my Brooke Valentine stuff as long as you come home. Okay. Now. Before I get started, <clears throat> I just want to give a special shout out to all of my new subscribers. Hi, guys. I feel like the Gemini reading was very, very popular. That video that I uploaded on last Friday, Thursday night or Friday, I think it was Friday. It might, yeah, it was Friday night. By Saturday, it had already, like, it was well over a 1,000 views. And I'm a small YouTuber, so I can get 50 views and be excited. Hey, because at the end of the day, baby, the monthly views is what I care about right now. But I got that amount of, of, of traction and that amount of love on one video. And I just was so overwhelmed because it brought all of these new house members, all of these new family members, and I really appreciate it. So all of you guys, thank you so much. I'm going to be thanking you from now until, you know, I end this series and start the next one. Um, so please continue to show me support, which gets me right into my next topic. For those of, those of you who have booked me for your personal readings, thank you so much. Thank you all for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. Again, I appreciate you. I love you all from the moon and back.
Now, we're going to be keeping that same energy with the readings, okay? I am running a free reading contest. You can win a free 20-minute, which is level one reading with me, Marvelous. Okay, so how it works, and understand if you are new here, there will be a link when the reading starts, but this is how you find out how you enter this contest because the rest of the videos going forward will not have an intro. Okay, I stopped doing that. I don't want to say the same thing 60 times. Okay, get ugly. So, all of my social media platforms are linked in the description Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. Facebook, and what? Wait, hold on. Which other one? Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. Follow me, like, whatever that platform requires that you do. Okay, like the video that brought you to my house. My Marvelous House, The Marvelous House, <laughs> The Marvelous Show. Subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe, okay? Once you've done all of that, there we go, sorry. Once you've done all of that, email me at readings at marvelousmadam.com. Subject line free reading. Link all of that in there. I did this, that, and the third screenshot it, okay? I will confirm 24 to 48 hours later, you will get your confirmation email with your information on how to book. Space is limited. I do book all of my free readings and my paying clients in the same time frame. Okay. The availability is the same Monday through Friday. And as it stands now, I do not do private readings on the weekend. If you want that to change, then hit me up if you're only available on the weekend, if and, and I will see what I can do. But right now, my weekends are only reserved for paying uh, clients. So, you know, it's it's a balancing act, guys. And I don't read anybody, regardless of whether they pay or they win something that I'm giving away on the weekend. But I do realize that um, we're in different time zones. So it doesn't matter if you want a reading and I can squeeze you in, I have been known to do that because I want to get you the message. If you reach out to me and you find that my scheduling doesn't work with yours, I do have a new schedule. When you go out on my scheduler on Acuity Scheduling, you'll see it. Um, then hit me up. I am flexible and I will deliver it when it's convenient for you as long as I can. Okay, now let's move on. This is that part of the show, guys, where I tell you, if you care to skip this marvelous intro, that wasn't the intro, that was the pre-intro. If you care to skip this marvelous intro, are we going to start talking about what's going on in the sky right now? About another 10 minutes, um, 8 to 10 minutes or something like that. Then um, the link to where the video is going to start, when I pull this card the Romance Angel Oracle card, I will link that timestamp down in the description. If you don't want to stick around and find out what's going on in the sky, you can go and stop right here and it'll be there. For the rest of you guys that know how I rock, let's get down, all right? So, Sagittarius on Halloween Day. Halloween Day, two things happened that took us, that's going to set motion for the rest of the month, okay? The first thing that happened was is that Mercury went into Sagittarius on Halloween Day. The second thing that happened that night or that day is that Scorpio, sorry, Venus is retrograde in the sign of Scorpio, okay? But that particular night, and it had been retrograde in the sign of Scorpio since October the 5th. So October the 5th through October the 31st, it was retrograde in the sign of Scorpio in Libra season, okay? But then once we move from Libra season into Scorpio season where we are right now, and by the way, I hope Scorpio season is treating you guys well. Now, once we're in Scorpio season, it slides back or forward from Scorpio into Libra, where it is right now in retrograde, all right? Those are the things that happened that day. Let's rock. So on November the 6th, today is the 5th, by the way. Tomorrow on the 6th, whoa, the following is going to be happening. Love yourself first and call in your soulmate, Sag. I had to fondle the cards. I'm sorry. Um, normally I don't, but I'm doing it. Trust, by the way. Um, Uranus, who is retrograde, is going to be entering in the sign of Aries on the 6th, tomorrow. On the 7th, we're going to have a new moon, okay? 
I will be going live that night and we're going to go ahead. I'm going to bring you into my space as I prepare for my new moon ritual. OK, it is no burning involved like the full moon. But I did go live with the full moon and Taurus. Go check me out on Facebook. Watch that video, please. I like your support, okay? I need your support, so like the video. Um, on the 8th, Jupiter is going to enter in the sign of Sagittarius. Remember, Mercury is already in Sagittarius. Then Jupiter enters it on the 8th. On the 15th, Mars enters the sign of Pisces, okay? On November 16th, two profound things happen. Again, Mercury... Who is in the sign of Sagittarius goes retrograde, okay? The same damn day Venus goes direct. It's already in Libra, so that's the sign where it will go direct in, okay? Then we get a reprieve of, of sorts. And then on the on the 22nd, the sun enters Sagittarius. Al Sagittarius, look out for your birthday bonus reading, okay? It will be uploaded on Thanksgiving Day for those of you that want to watch, but it will not be recorded that day because that's Thanksgiving, Al. And I'm taking a well-needed break, okay? Okay. All right. The the one of the hot ticket items is this damn full moon in Gemini. Okay. The full moon in Gemini, which is going to directly oppose the the um the the sun and Sag. That's always the case. And last but not least, November 24th is going to be Neptune going direct in the sign of Pisces. Okay. That has been your astrology snippet. You have any questions in regards to anything that I named, go ahead and let me know. In the meantime, I have been a shuffling fool. Let's go ahead and get your cards. Again, if you are picking the video up right now, this is November 2018. How does Bay feel about you for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Let's get started. Whoa. Express your love, Sagittarius. That's what spirit is telling you to do. All right. We got our time stamp. Thank God. Bottom of the deck. Very soon. All right. So I'm getting some new love energy for you guys. Okay. Very soon. Didn't I say something about somebody that had something to say? Didn't I say it? Contributing energy. Religious factors. Sagittarius. You deserve love, Sagittarius. And stay optimistic about your love life, Sagittarius. Let's go. All right. I've already given you your pre-shuffle information. Let's go ahead and pull down these cards. Universe spirit angels and my guides, please provide me. Ooh, that tried to come in reverse. We'll talk about it. Uh-oh. Five cards that represent how... Scorp... Sagittarius partner feels about them. I'm sorry. I don't know why I got Scorpios. And Pi you know why? Because I'm looking at the two of cups and I'm about to give you the damn zodiac sign. Sorry. How does a Sagittarius partner feel about them, spirit? All right. I'm going to leave this one reverse so I don't forget. All right, guys. I do not read reversals. To a certain extent, I will acknowledge the reversal depending on the spread, depending on what spirit compels me to do. Um, the energy of that particular car still exists. It's just going to be operating in the lower vibrational aspect of that same energy. So it's not going to necessarily change depending on the rest of the cards. All of the, um, the rules still apply. OK, three more cards, spirit. Three more cards, spirit. So I guess I do read reversals, but I'm going to talk about them as I see it. Sagittarius, you guys are definitely connecting with water. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. All right. Okay, so let's talk about the contributing energies. Your bottom of the deck energy is five of swords, 
Devil in reverse. Justice in reverse. Jesus. Six of Wands in reverse. So let's talk about these energies first. Your energy, your partner's energy, I'm sorry, Sage, is definitely the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords is not necessarily a good energy to be in. The Five of Swords is speaking of the fact that there's been, you're kind of acting in your own interest, but, you know, it's about self-interest. Am I happy? Do I want this? Do I want that? Um... I feel as if, hold on, I, look at this, I feel like when this card comes out in the love reading, I feel like there's hostility, someone wants to act on their own accord. Someone is only focusing on themselves. Someone is, your partner is doing this, by the way. This person is upset. This person is acknowledging the fact that you are a soulmate, Sagittarius, but they're unhappy with this card. This um, person is definitely acknowledging some Capricorn energy right here with the devil in reverse. The devil in reverse is not a bad thing, but I feel like they're letting go of the relationship and they feel like the relationship is toxic rather than the thing. Whatever bound them to this union, they're letting it go, operating in this energy as well. This is the justice card in reverse. So this is Libra energy. So right now we're dealing with a Capricorn and a Libra and it's in reverse. They have no faith. They feel like the situation is not going to be un is not going to be fair. These energies are upright. They are not well, just as obviously Libra energy is not that bad, there's going to be a situation that's going to um, be handled fairly from a balanced perspective. But reversals, it's going to either go slow, it's going to put it to a halt, or it's just going to be a very slow justice. And then they see victory in reverse. So I feel like because of this energy, they are deciding to let go of the things that has been holding them. But as a result of that, they're unsure operating in this energy. They're focused on their self right now. That's what I'm feeling like. And they can't see the victory or justice or balance in this situation at all. So the most positive thing out of acting in this energy is the fact that they're letting the devil go. Two of Cups in reverse. They are acknowledging the connection, but the connection is stagnant. So they are definitely, again, operating in this very five of swords, hidden agendas too, guys. Like uh, unfair dealings. Um, my uh, my my favorite depiction of the card with the uh, five of, um, well, it could have been the five of wands. Hidden agenda, um, a um, a difficult opponent, that type of shit. There's planning here with the three of wands looking out on the horizon, a need to want to move forward, possibly teaming up again. Spirit is telling you guys to express your love and very soon go ahead and make the romantic gesture gesture clearly decide what you want. So it comes to you now. But I don't feel like this person operating in this five of swords energy has it, it. I think they're 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 operating a very self-serving type of energy. OK, get ugly. So this is the three of wands. Now, the three of wands is, is upright and it's not a bad type of card, but I feel like they are demonstrating and having the foresight to expand their horizons. Solo, dolo, possibly. Okay. 
figuring out what the fuck to do. What lies ahead? What do we see? Let's let's do this. Let's do that. But they not doing it with the two of cups in reverse. All of those heavy energies over there operating in a, in a very self-serving energy, um, Sagittarius. We got the Knight of Pentacles, okay? Driving that pinnacle home, planning, five of swords, driving this energy to plan for the future and how I'm going to make some money by myself, okay? That's what I'm seeing. And then we got the death card. So that's what's letting me know. That this person is thinking about self. Scorpio energy here. This is an ending. Okay. So Sagittarius. They are sitting back with this eight. This is what? This is my eight of pentacles. Now, you know, again. Not bad energy. Not bad energy at all. Working on that pinnacle. Definitely diligent. Okay. Paying attention to the detail. But baby. When I put these together, that's, and then I have this in the background so you can see that the five of swords is energetically driving all of this energy. They want to do this by themselves. They, if, if this hasn't happened, Sagittarius, they want to do this alone. I think I'm going to call this solo dolo. That's what they want. That's what I'm thinking. Religious factors, you deserve love and stay optimistic about your love life is definitely correlating back to the death card. Scorpio energy here. But on the other hand, express your love and very soon. Let's find out what's going on. Because what I'm seeing here is that someone wants to move this pinnacle and nurse this pinnacle along. This Eight of Pentacles could be also, now again, the death card is here and I'm only focused on the way that the cards are laid out together because that's what you do in the reading. But I mean, like I said, I acknowledge the fact that the Three of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles are great, great cards in the love reading. But with the fact that this Two of Cups is in reverse, and we got all of these, and we got the Devil upright, and uh, this, uh, we got the Devil and the death card. This is an ending. Someone is planning an ending and plotting to do this alone. Looking out on the horizon, planning to do this by themselves. Um, I'm not saying, well, the death and um, death is here. So something definitely ended. And I mean, the death of thoughts, actions, behaviors that no longer serve this person. And this is a love reading. This is how they feel about you, Sagittarius. So they want this over with. I don't see that they told you, but energetically, they're acting very self, self-serving. self Every decision that they're making is about self. They are not focused on the connection. Put it like this, because I hate that. That sounds so harsh. They're not as focused on the connection. Now, we're going to pull your energy and see how you're feeling. Now, spirit is guiding both of you guys, because the Romance Angel Oracle cards, all of this energy can go back and forth, okay? So this could very well be in reverse. Very soon and express your love. If I don't get anything in your energy that correlates with this, I'm going to have to clarify those. Give me Sagittarius energy. Uh-oh. That's reverse. Is that the damn... I was about to say, y'all almost had me screaming. Sagittarius, how does, do they feel about partner? How do they feel about their partner? Mm. 
Well, you definitely got guys both got the Knight of Pentacles, so you're mirroring each other. Yours is in reverse, so there's no working together here. I can tell you that right now. That's another, that's a big thing. There's no teamwork, which explains the reason why that's in reverse. You're acknowledging the connection, but that also, I mean, this Two of Cups is, is partnering up. And that's not what's going on right now. Two more, two more, yeah. Uh-oh, that was in reverse. Oh, Jesus. I don't know how the Queen of Pentacles wanted to come out. The damn hermit. Okay, so, Jesus. All right, so your energy is the hermit in reverse. Contributing energies, the two of swords upright. Five of pentacles in reverse. Knight of wands upright. You are at a stalemate. You no longer feel like you are out in the cold. There was some type of financial situation that you guys had. Contributing energies. Some type of financial situation that you guys had that you had to make a decision on, possibly. The passion still exists. The night is going to drive forward that passion. But something has got you feeling like the hermit in reverse. Interesting. A very low vibrational operating type hermit. Your energy brings forth three reversals, one of which is the seven of wands. Okay. So the one cards that your partner has is the three. So they're operating very much on some solo dolo type shit. Okay. But with this seven, on the other hand, the plan, you are pissed off about it. This was in reverse. So you, you guys have been arguing. This was in reverse. So you're, you're aggressive. You're defiant. You're pissed off. And you're operating... It's getting better. And reverse is not as strong. You're deciding to go after what you want. You've decided that you've helped this person too much. And they're showing you that they're on their own shit. It hurts you. You went within. Now you're coming out of that because you're the hermit in reverse. So instead of sitting around accepting bullshit... And being quiet about it, you decided to start speaking up. They don't like that. You want to get back to what made you have guys happy and going to celebration. I'm going to clarify that card too. There's been some type of financial upset. This Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. Yours is in reverse and theirs is upright. Um, it could mean a new job opportunity for them and maybe things for you are not going so well at work. You guys are mirroring the Knight of Pentacles upright and reversal and both of you guys' energy is letting me know that you're not on the same page about something financial, okay? Which I think has you here, but this is in reverse. This is where you guys used to be. Okay, that's a, a financial upset, some type of financial loss. This situation just about killed you. Just about killed you with the Ten of Swords. But I think because it's in reverse, you're slowly starting to come out of that. So your energy was pretty much holding back, pissed the fuck off, on edge, defiant all the time, mentally drained. Can't take it anymore about something that has something to do with some money. These three cards right here let me know that this is your past energy. Now let's look at them up upright. Okay. 
And now, as a result, you morph from that energy into the queen. Okay. So now, you your partner is the knight. You morph into the queen. Remember, you're the hermit in reverse. So you come out of this. You come out of this energy. At some point, you were holding back. You were at a stalemate. You guys have definitely been arguing over money. I am going to clarify this express your love. On the partner's deck. And then I'm going to clarify the very soon with your deck. Because I also want to clarify this damn three of cups down here too. I don't see no cups. No, well. Hold on. There's no partnership or there was no partnership at one point. And I think you just want to get and move away from that. So that makes sense. I, that that makes sense because if, if you guys are mirroring, you do have some cards that are like like right there, and I feel like they fall in the same place too, which is crazy. So underneath the two of cups is the three of cups, although they're in reverse. So I told you they're focusing on themselves right now, and you kind of are too. But I think this energy of being defiant put them there. Clarify, express your love, spirit. I think that that's what pissed them off. But ultimately, this is some type of financial thing. Clarify, express your love. Maybe this three of cups is correlating directly to the fact that you guys need to get back on the good foot. Get back into celebration mode. Get back. I mean, yeah, king of cups. I should call this solo dolo. Get back to love. I feel like. Yeah, that's that's what this is. Spirit is wanting you guys to get back here. I don't feel like I don't I don't know. I feel like the your partner they the, I told you how they felt. They want to break up. Yeah, see, four wands in reverse, chariot in reverse. This is their energy. They they want to do their solo thing. They're not focusing on expressing this cup of love to you um sag i feel like but we're gonna go ahead and clarify in your energy what very soon is i don't know i feel like remember we got death it could be the and the devil we i mean clarify very soon the moon Pisces energy or water overall, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So I feel like um, Spirit is wanting you guys to go ahead and make the romantic gesture and get this back on the good foot. Spirit seems to think that um, this relationship has a chance. Clarify the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is the Emperor in reverse. All right. So, I mean, I've tried to spend something on this. King of Pentacles at the bottom, Knight of Pentacles up here. It looks like you guys just need to take a break. Um, remember, anything that goes on right now, I mean, this could be a good card charging in. Emperor is uh, stable, you know, runs empires, makes stable officer, officers, Jesus Christ, Off offers. I... I feel like, Sagittarius, this is what you want to do. There has been a fluctuation of emotions. You have been hella on edge. You probably pissed this person off and put them there. Um, I do see death um, and I do see devil. Um, but at the same time, I don't have necessarily enough um, that I, I just feel like it can go either way. I don't feel like if it's a true, true tower moment that's here, um, death could simply mean that they're putting an end to something. Um, I definitely feel like you guys are not seeing eye to eye right now. If this hasn't happened, if this hasn't happened, it's going to happen. And if it hasn't happened, uh, and if it happened already, then you guys are basically going to be taking it one day at a time. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, let it skate. But uh, Sagittarius, you just about at your goddamn wit's end, though. And this financial shakeup 
whatever this person wasn't doing, whatever words were exchanged, whatever in the hell you express with this damn seven of wands really got this person to the point where they was just like, I, 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 we, I can't go on like this. Okay. I feel like Sagittarius, some of you guys are definitely dealing with a fucking Scorpio too. This has transformative energy. And so, and if that's the case, you know, anything that happens in Mercury retrograde does not necessarily have to stick. Um, I feel like this is an existing connection. I do not feel like it's new. If this is new, as I just got through telling the uh, Scorpios, then it can very well um, just end because it was brand new. But I feel like this is an existing thing. I don't see children. I do see religious factors and stay optimistic. This is something. But you guys, this connection took a hit. And, and Venus in retrograde, that's pretty standard. I mean, everybody's connection is, is taking a hit because everybody needs to go in and reevaluate shit because Venus in retrograde with the planet being asleep is forcing you to ask yourself, what do I value? And I feel like this shakeup needed to happen okay we got earth taurus virgo capricorn we got swords libra gemini aquarius we got fire we got everything you guys are the magician so with that being said we got water we got fire aries leo sag we got cancer pisces scorpio we got strong pisces we got strong scorpio i did not see the chariot so I know it's a cancer. The chariot was in reverse for somebody, but it was it, it was coming. Um, so I feel like you have all signs on deck. Um, everything here is free will. Major arcana is death. So there's definitely going to be some type of transformation. Okay. The rest of this is kind of okay. Um, there is some some toxic behavior, Capricorn energy. Um, that major arcanas are going to stick, the emperor. So when the emperor clarified the three of cups, this is a good indicator that there could be some back to love moments. I just, now I'm looking at this. For some of you guys, like I said, if it's new, it, it very well may just crumble. But I just feel like this, this person wants to go solo dolo. And then by the time um, the planet goes direct, um, and then we get these these shifts and we got Sagittarius. We got good shit happening. I just get if you if you listen to the snippet um, of what's happening in the sky, we got a lot of good shit going on. Mercury is going to be retrograde in your sign. OK, the moon is fluctuating emotions. What's 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 what lies beneath what's not being said. So very soon, clearly decide what you want and it'll come to you now. That's what's clarifying that. So that lets me know that this isn't over for some of you guys. Again, existing connections, you have a chance to get back on the good foot. Brand new connections, there's just not enough. I mean, there was a connection. I do see the two of cups. That's about the most positive thing here. Everything else is strong, major, arcana, and then we have the death card. So you let me know. All right, Sagittarius, that has been your read, and I certainly hope it resonated. Go ahead, like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe, okay? I will see you guys back here next week as we examine the love energy that surrounds you for the top of the month reading. I certainly hope it resonated again. Leave me a comment and let me know. Um, you know I answer each and every one of your comments. Um, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope it resonated again. If it resonated, great. If it doesn't, let it escape. Go ahead and hit me up and let me know. All right. Bye, Sam.